Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Well, hi there, Taurus. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing okay. I feel, ooh-wee, transformation. I feel a really intense need to read, um, a really intense need to read. Um, I hope everybody's been doing okay out there. I personally am feeling very sick. <laughs> I'm not feeling so good. Everybody keeps saying that maybe it's uh, called ascension sickness from this 5D shift that some of us are going through, but quite frankly, it feels like a stomach virus to me, so we'll see. But I feel an incredible urge, an incredible urge to read. I have to read. I just have to read. So here we go, Taurus. Let's see what the cards have to say. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Snuggle up to the table. Let's talk about some things. If you're coming back to the channel, thank you so much because it's all about you. It's for you and about you. Everybody do me a solid and subscribe because it helps me out, helps my channel, keeps me motivated, all right? Let's do it. Let's jump straight to it because I have this intense, intense urge to read these cards. Let's do it. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the collective with me, Spirit. The collective of Taurus. And they want to know what you know. What do you know? about this particular Taurus and what does this particular Taurus need to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their future spirit. What's coming towards them? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest? Ooh, please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times, pull straight from the top. Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. These cards are kind of big. All right. Bottom of the deck. Triumphant success with the Ace of Swords. Partnerships and alliances with the Three of Wands. Love begins with the Ace of Cups. Passion ignited with the Ace of Wands. And then wisdom with the Hierophant. Look at that. That's all going to make hella sense in a second. Set those off to the side. Boom. Spiritual strength with the Nine of Wands. First card out the box. All right. These are supposed to all be read in the upright, okay? Um, material and spiritual, the Six of Pentacles. And then mental conflict with the Two of Swords. All right. Throat chakra. Okay, we're going to set that aside. Talk about that a little bit later. The waiting game with the Two of Wands. This is about the future. Third eye chakra. We're going to set that to the side as well. Patience with temperance and sacrifice with the hanged man. Let's make some room. We're going to do one more row here. These cards are huge. All right. And then we have Solitude with the Hermit. Truth with Judgment. The Crown Chakra. Rest and Rejuvenation with the Four of Cups. Intuition. Moving on. Standing your ground. Authority with the Emperor, Recognition and Reward with the Three of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups, to the Six of Cups, and Transformation with Death, New Beginnings with the Fool, and Material Harvest, Prosperity Begins, Accelerated Motion, Hope. Let's see what else is coming here. All right. We'll stop with the sun. We'll stop with the sun. All right, let's make some sense out of all of this. The nine of wands, spiritual strength. What is this all about? Fighting the good fight, spiritual strength to material prosperity. Chariot in reverse 
and the devil. Look at that. Okay, gotcha. Justice in reverse. Understood. Material and spiritual prosperity with the Six of Pentacles. And then the conflict, the mental conflict with the Two of Swords right there. All right, Taurus, this is what's happening right here, okay? This is what's happening for someone out there. This is what's happening. So, spiritual strength is the first card out the box, okay? It sets the tone for the whole reading. And it's followed by material and spiritual prosperity, okay? Six of, the Six of Pentacles, the giving, the receiving, and the sharing of prosperity in life with another. So spiritual strength, resilience, persistence, fighting the good fight, pushing through. It's your first card. It's the first thing that they want to say to you is that you must continue to push through. You must continue to push through. The chariot in reverse because things aren't ready yet. Things just aren't ready yet. Stand strong in your understanding that your soul is trying to lead you on the path of your very best and highest good. Sometimes it takes a minute though. It takes a minute. Sometimes we get frustrated because we try and we try and we hang on to our belief that, that, that if we're doing the right things and going in the right direction, that things are going to work out in our human understanding of life. And for this particular Taurus, in this particular situation, things can't catapult forward just yet because of the devil. Because there is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth underneath you. Okay, this devil right here is whispering words in your ear, the six of wands in reverse of a lack of success. You see, as much as there's rainbows and unicorns and all of this beautiful spirituality, there is an opposing force. There always is. There always will be a yin to a yang. Okay, there is an opposing force and the opposing force that rules the planet that we live on does not want to see you step into your path, your purpose, and what it is that you came here to do. They just don't want that because if you unplug from the mechanism of the world that we live in that feeds off of despair and anxiety then you not only become a threat to the system, but you become even a bigger threat because you could possibly take other people with you. Interesting. And the devil is whispering in your ear, this is all a bunch of bullshit. You can't do this. You need to find something else. You need to do something else with yourself. Go get a job. Go punch a clock for someone and sacrifice your whole everything, 40, 60, 80 hours a week of your life doing something that does not fulfill your soul, that does not fulfill your life's purpose so you can stay buried so your soul's journey can stay buried because you coming into alignment with your soul's journey is the biggest, biggest threat to the forces that control the world that we live in. If your soul ascends, you break free from the constant repeat over and over and over again of all of the lifetimes that you have to come back here to get it right. And this particular Taurus is on the path to their life's purpose. They are. This particular Taurus is headed in the right direction. That's why spiritual strength is the first card out. Spiritual strength says be strong, keep fighting, keep fighting the good fight, even when everything looks hopeless, even when everything isn't going the way that you would hope that it would go. Keep fighting the good fight because the devil doesn't want to let you go. And you literally have to struggle 
out of the grasp of the negative energies that control the actual world that we live in. Keep fighting the good fight. Don't listen to the whispers of doubt and fear in your ears because source will never speak to you like that. They won't. If you're hearing doubt, if you're hearing frustration, if you're feeling that it's all just too hard and it's just much easier to stay in the place of complacency and comfort, if you feel like the struggle is too much, that's your indication that you're on the right path. Yes, the attachment that's the restriction to your growth is listening to the whisperings in your ear of the devil on your shoulder. Yeah, that's why things can't go forward. That's why you're kind of maybe in a holding pattern right now because your mind is focusing on what is too difficult to accomplish instead of focusing on what it is that you're going to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Justice in reverse. Justice in reverse says this is not in your best interest. This is not good and right and proper for your life. And most importantly, it's stealing your accountability for your journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse comes on top of this and says we are all just in suspended animation until you point all of your energetic forces from heart center, in control of your emotions, knowing that you know that you know that whatever decision this is for this person is the way that you are supposed to be going for your soul's journey. If you know in your heart of hearts and in your soul of souls that the way that your life needs to go is in the path of your very best and highest good, this wheel of fortune will flip in the upright and divine orchestration will take place in your life. A gigantic turning point will happen in your life. But the wheel is in reverse because justice is in reverse because you're listening to the devil and you're not listening to your soul. You're, you're defeated in this first stack of cards right here. And spiritual strength, which is the bedrock of all of it, says keep pushing don't get defeated. Don't get caught up in the devil energy. Keep going. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, sorry, Queen of Swords, right? Queen of Swords puts her mind where it needs to go because the mind is what will dictate the course of your life. And the devil knows this. The devil knows that the playground of your mind is his place. The devil knows if he can get a hold of your mind, he can dictate your entire life. And the Queen of Swords says, oh, hell no. Uh-uh. I'm not succumbing. I'm not going to allow the devil to play inside of my mind. I am strong. I am focused and I am I have my eyes on the prize and I will not get fatigued in the battle to the empress this is you this is the card of Taurus yes Libra too but we're talking Taurus right here the empress says keep fighting Keep using the first two lessons of all of humanity. Keep, keep understanding that your mind creates your reality and the internal narrative that you tell yourself creates your reality. Turn that internal narrative from fear and a lack of success, maybe a little struggle right now. This particular Taurus is definitely struggling right now. Turn your mind towards your soul's understanding. The High Priestess, Lesson 2, Magician, Lesson 1, what your mind thinks is becomes your reality, right? Lesson 2, the High Priestess, your soul is trying to help you through this whole human experience. Follow it without arguing. Follow it even when it's tiresome. Follow your soul's understanding even when you don't understand where it's taking you. 
And that's the Empress, lesson three. She is the dirt of life, the fertility of the tarot. Everything grows out of the Empress because she understands concepts one and concepts two. And this particular Taurus that these cards are talking to knows this. This particular Taurus understands that her mind creates her reality and that her soul is guiding her through this life experience. But she's lost her way a little bit because she's tired. She's tired of struggling. She's tired of fighting the good fight. But the cards say resilience, persistence, keep going, keep pushing forward because material and spiritual prosperity is right around the corner for you. It's literally right there. The only thing standing in your way is your mindset. Uh-huh. Material and spiritual prosperity. Clarified by the Prince of Swords, there is communication coming into you that is going to change everything, the world. It closes down the old cycle of your life and opens up a brand new phase of your life. The world is the last card in the tarot. The world card says that this particular Taurus has all of the tools and resources that they need to step into the next extremely successful phase of their life. Keep going, keep pushing, two of pentacles, prioritize, balance out and prioritize your sense of well-being and know that you know that you know that you are headed in the right direction. Two of swords, crossroads in the mind, right? Two of Pentacles, followed by the Two of Wands down here. Twos, 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 partnerships and alliances. There is a partnership coming into your life with the communication of the Prince of Swords that is going to change your whole existence, Taurus. Your whole existence. Crossroads in the mind. Mental conflict. What did we just talk about? Your mind creates your reality. The waiting game with the two of wands. This is the future. This is your future. At the crossroads of your future to the Prince of Pentacles. The Prince of Pentacles says it's slow. It's slow coming because everybody has to be in place. Imagine being source trying to orchestrate everybody to be where they're supposed to be doing what they're supposed to be doing when they're supposed to be doing it your future is coming it's slow to come and that slowness that it not happening as fast as we think it should right because we live in this boxed in human mentality that says it should have happened already it should be happening it should have happened already but no 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 your existence is never ending from the beginning of time to infinity your existence is never ending and this human experience that you're having we have to readjust our concept of time. Personally, I don't even think that time is real. It's a human constructed mechanism of clicking off the seconds that we're alive. Time is never ending. And even though this is taking you a good minute to procure into your life, it is the path and the purpose of your mission on this planet. To the three of cups what i say organizing everybody getting everybody where they need to be in line listening to their soul ready willing and able right at the exact moment boom that everything takes place this prince of swords this communication that's coming into you is on its way you have to clear the playground of your mind from the negative self disparaging internal talk and point your mind your everything your mind your emotions your sense of well-being and your inspirations and aspirations towards what it is that you're trying to get accomplished in this particular situation patience temperance in the center of your reading 
in the center of your reading. Patience, Taurus. Don't give up. Don't succumb to the devil. Don't give up, Taurus. Have some patience. The universe has patience with you. Have some patience with the universe. Know that your needs are met. It might not be steak and lobster. It might be ramen noodles. But your needs are met. You're going to survive. You're going to push through. And things are going to explode in your life have some patience to the Prince of Wands because it's coming. Inspired action. They need you to get out of this devil energy, be accountable for being in the devil energy, flip this wheel of fortune in the upright so there can be a massive turning point and all of this can rain down into your life. There is communication coming very very inspired passionate exciting communication to the sun happiness success vitality everything that you have been working for taurus is on its way to you the hangman sacrifice what do you got to sacrifice what's the sacrifice here for all of this the ace of pentacles in reverse this particular taurus is broke this particular Taurus doesn't have the resources that they need to do what it is that they need to do in life right now at this particular minute. And that's where that devil comes into play, right? That's where that devil comes into play. Whispering in your ear, you can't do this. What makes you think? What makes you think that God cares about you? What makes you think that there's universal order? What makes you think that you can unplug from the machine and live your dreams? What makes you think that the things that inspire you even matter in this whole grand scheme of things? The sacrifice in the hanged man energy is to understand that there is sacrifice required of you. And that is to have patience with universal order. The hangman needs you to have a new perspective. You might not have what it is that you want at this exact second, but it's coming, Taurus. Four of Pentacles, you might not have what you want, but you have enough. You have enough in the Four of Pentacles. You do. You have enough. You might not like it, but you have enough. To the Queen of the Swords, eyes on the prize. Get your mind in the game. Understand from a logical perspective that this is going to take some time to come into your life, but it's right there. I mean, it's like literally right here. Get your mind out of the gutter. Get your mind in the game and focus on universal order instead of the hopelessness that the devil is whispering in your ear. To the hermit, solitude. This is where you need to be, Taurus. Hermit energy, deep soul searching, deep introspection, having faith that what it is that you're doing, the mission that you have been alerted to, the way that you're going about doing things is exactly where you're supposed to be. Soul searching, introspection, solitude. Stay in your small place. Stay where you are and be happy that you get to experience all of this. Because somehow, some way, this, this lack that you are experiencing right now is going to be a part of your testimony. It's going to be a part of your path and your purpose. You are going to be able to look back at this time in your life in the future, you're going to be able to look back at this time in your life and say, I remember when, I remember when I wasn't accountable for the way that I thought about things. I remember when I was creating my own injustice in my life by listening to the devil whisper in my ear. I was where you are and look at me now. Have faith. This is going to be a part of your testimony.
the queen of pentacles in reverse, the upset in the home, the family, the finances, the upset in your sense of security, the upset in the family, the upset in your, in your bank account. It's all going to be part of your testimony. The five of wands, the conflict that you went through, the battle that you went through, being broke, having to eat oatmeal for dinner. It's all going to be a part of your testimony, Taurus. Yes, it is. Judgment says so. Judgment, truth, your truth. You have to go through these trying times in order to find your truth. And that's again where the devil comes into play, right? Are you going to stand upon what you know to be true inside of you? Are you going to stand upon what you know is coming towards you? Or are you going to succumb to the easy fix and plug back into the machine and just be content with complacency? What is your truth? This is the judgment card. Own your truth. Draw a line in the sand and say, I will not, I will not entertain disparity and anxiety and fear. I will not Eight of Swords in reverse. New perspective. Get out of your head. Unlock your mind from the prison of the devil and get out of your head to death in reverse. Do some inner purging, some inner purging of the mental conflict, some inner purging of your doubt, some inner purging of, of, of your doubt that you're not doing the right thing, that you're not going in the right direction. And allow a gigantic internal transformation to take place. Huge, giant, internal transformation about the way that this particular Taurus believes in life. Followed by rest and rejuvenate. This goes right along with patience in the center of this spread. Rest and rejuvenate. Take this time to get yourself in order, Taurus. This lag here, this I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. I don't know how I'm going to whatever. Take this time. Eat the ramen noodles. Enjoy your oatmeal. And know that all is well in universal order. Have faith. Hold on to your faith that you are going in the direction that your soul is asking you to go. And don't ever, ever look back at the devil. Yes, take this time. Get ready. Clean your car. Get it spick and span clean. Clean out your closets, literally and figuratively. Go through your drawers. Make your clothes nice. Get rid of the stuff that you've been holding on to forever. Clear some room for your abundance to rain down on you, Taurus. Take this time to prepare for the absolute abundance that is going to rain down. The Nine of Cups. Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. Be happy where you are. Be happy that you're broke right now because it's going to be a part of your testimony. Be happy that you have to depend upon your faith in universal order. Be happy where you are right now, here, today. Enjoy the journey. Find peace in the journey and be happy with what it is that you have now. Ten of Cups. When you're happy with what it is that you have now and where you are now, when you're grateful for the things that most people wouldn't even consider something to be grateful for, be grateful that you scraped up the quarters to get enough gas to take you to the grocery store to buy your ramen noodles, Taurus. Because that gratitude turns into 
the Ten of Cups. Complete and total, utter happiness. To the Nine of Wands in reverse. Don't give up, Taurus. Don't give up. Don't give up, Taurus. Keep going, Taurus. Don't succumb to the devil. Intuition. The high priestess says, if you need help, we're here. The hermit says, if you need help, we're here. Sit with us. Talk with us. Close your eyes and feel what it is that we are trying to communicate to you. Watch the signs and synchronicities in your life. And have faith that your ancient soul is here to combat the ancient soul of the devil. Strength. We will strengthen you. We will help you to overcome. We will give you courage. Hold on, Taurus. Hold on hard. Hold on with both hands. Do not let this devil steal your joy. Six of swords and move on. Move on. Move on on from the doubt. Move on from the fear. Move on from all of the mental imprisonment that is the weight around your ankles. Look, this devil, they're chained. They are chained to the foot of this devil. And the six of swords is unchaining yourself and being happy about the struggle. You have to enjoy the struggle, Taurus. Otherwise, you're chained to complacency. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Fight, Taurus. Fight. Stand your ground. The King of Wands, because success for you is right around the corner. Eyes on the prize. The things that inspire you to be alive are the threads of your ancient soul trying to guide you to the path and the purpose that is what you came here to do. The emperor to the three of pentacles. This is the world. This is the communication. This is what happens when you remember who you are in the empress energy. When you Point your mind towards self-control. When you flip the wheel of fortune in the upright and allow the universe to rain down on you because the keeping it at bay is your lack of accountability for your disparity in your lack of success in your current moment right now. This emperor is going to recognize something about you. Recognition and reward. The three of wands, preparation. It's coming. And this emperor right here is the person that is going to offer it to you. Mm -hmm. Could be anything in your life, Taurus. Anything. It could be anything at all. But you have some serious communication that's coming into you. And they are recognizing your contribution in whatever area of your life that this is hitting on. The universe is going to reward you and recognize you for holding tight and resisting the urge to slide back into the matrix, to plug back into the machine. Star in reverse. Not your path, not your purpose, not renewal of your life. The seven of cups, the delusion, the illusion, the confusion, being confused, working so hard on something and saying, why is this not working? Why is this not succeeding? Why this is what I'm supposed to be doing? Why? Why is it not going? That's you in the Seven of Cups. And the star in reverse says, that is what takes you off course. Spiritual union. This emperor, 
that is going to bring you some kind of information that is going to change the cycle of everything is a soulmate. Soulmates do not have to be love. Soulmates can be anything. Soulmates can be a dog. My horse is my soulmate. I promise you that. Is it forever and always amen till the end of time? No, she'll probably die before I do, hopefully. <laughs> She'll probably die before I do, but she's here for me because it's healing my human experience. She's healing my human experience. This person for you is a soul mate that is coming into your life to deliver universal order to the new phase of your life. The Six of Cups, reiterating soul mate. Memories of love, spiritual union. You have held place with this person before and part of their path and part of their purpose is to be this for you. Ace of Cups, yes, all of this is soul mate. Could it be new love for you? It could be. It could be. Could it be entrepreneurial endeavors? It could be. Could it be a new job? It could be. Could you be in school and struggling to learn something new and you're like, it's just too hard. I just can't. I'm too old for this. I can't. I can't. I'm just too old for this. I just need to go back to what I was doing before. Or perhaps it's too overwhelming. I'm, I'm 20 years old and I don't have money to pay for school. I don't have money to pay for trade school or an education or to, to re-recertify something. Lies, Taurus. Lies from the devil to keep you chained to the foot of your human experience. Four of Swords. Come to terms. Come to terms with the grief. The anxiety. The despair in your mind, Taurus. Because this guy loves that this guy loves that come to terms with it pick up the fourth sword bring stabi stability to your mindset the lovers and align yourself with universal frequency so the things the places the people the situations and circumstances can all match up and catapult you into why you came here in the first place. Transformation with the death card. Absolute transformation of your life. Taurus, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Keep holding on to what it is that you believe to be your truth. Because there is an ending to your despair and a complete and utter transformation of your life brand new beginning brand new journey comes from the leveling up of your spirituality this fool card right here he doesn't have an itinerary he doesn't know the who what when where why and how things are going to shake down all he knows is he's compelled he's compelled in his soul to go Go, Taurus, go. Don't question it. Don't question it. My soul hurts for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's okay. My soul hurts for you, Taurus. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. The world needs you. The world needs you. Whatever it is that you are focused on, that you are disappointed that isn't happening in your life right now. The world, humanity needs you to keep 
going. Close your eyes and feel your soul speaking to you. We need you, Taurus. We need you. We need you, Taurus. A brand new beginning. A brand new journey, Taurus. A brand new beginning and a brand new journey is right in front of you. Don't give up. Don't go back to this. Material harvest all. <laughs> Material harvest, Taurus. All of everything is going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. Prosperity begins. New prosperity. Don't go back to the devil, Taurus. Don't let the devil take you off track, please. We need you. The Eight of Wands, accelerated motion. We need you to keep pushing forward. because there is hope. There is hope, Taurus. The path to happiness, success, and vitality. There is hope, Taurus. Don't ever, ever give up. Don't give up. Please don't give up. The bottom of the deck is wisdom. Oh, good grief. Bottom of the deck is wisdom. This is, this is source energy trying to get through to you. This is the commitment of your life that you have been trying to create. Everything is going to come together, Taurus. Follow your passion. The things that inspire you to be alive is what humanity needs you to be focusing on because that is how your testimony, your message, your life is going to make a difference. The Ace of Cups. Two aces. You got a lot of repeatings in this reading, Taurus. A lot of repeating numbers in this reading. Love begins. Is it love for you? Maybe. If that's what you want. But more importantly, this is about a new emotional beginning. Because this particular Taurus is extremely discouraged. It's new. New life. New beginning. New partnerships and alliances with the Three of Wands. And triumphant success for you, Taurus, comes from from you pointing your mind towards what your soul is guiding you towards and not pointing your mind towards what this devil is whispering in your ear. This devil tells you you can't do it. This devil tells you that you're crazy. This devil sends people into your life to tell you that you can't do it. You can do it, Taurus. You can do this, Taurus. Keep going. Keep going, Taurus. Don't stop for nobody. Keep going. We also had these chakra cards, right? The crown chakra. This is your mind. This is your mind, Taurus. Envision who you want to be. And don't let anybody anybody right on your parade the third eye chakra this is your connection to source this is where it all comes from focus here focus here and then the throat chakra this is about speaking your truth owning your truth accepting your truth 
and your truth will set you free. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.